in this video, um, I am going to show you about vid curator effects 1.0. Uh, the 2.0 version has been released just now. I am not recommending you purchase it based on my experience with 1.0. So I'm going to go through it and tell you why. Okay, here is the 1.0 version. It was a desktop version. And I'm just going to log in and boom, get an error message. Now, I never used to get this a few months ago because 1.0 version has now been put on the cloud. Now, before I get into the cloud one, the, they have a version of 1.0 on the cloud, I want to tell you a little bit about this one here. Um, this one, uh, the vid curator effects 1.0, was supposed to also, uh, also do 100 videos like the 2.0 version. There's a few extra features on the 2.0 version that are not on the 1.0, but they're similar, quite similar. The problem is this software was one of, it was so dreadfully slow. Um, I could make one video, it was very dreadfully slow, but when I tried to make more than one video, it never ever worked, it never worked. So I told support, uh, Bonnie got back in from support, very nice, she was very helpful, uh, and she says, well, now they've changed it to a cloud version. So let's go over the cloud version. This is the cloud version of vid career effects. Problem is, I, it's even worse. Uh, if I go to here, um, so to create a video, okay, I gotta log in here. If I go into, uh, and I got an error here. If I go into here to create a video, um, the problem is, is, let's go here, click. I'll be creating a video. Okay, yeah, I have the option here now. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. I can say how many videos I wanna make. Here's a problem. I can only put in 10 videos maximum. But I paid for a software that could do 100 videos. So I then upgraded to a cloud version, which then downgraded the amount of videos that I can do, which is really strange. Uh, now, here's the thing. Anytime I've made something with this cloud version, it doesn't work. Uh, so today I tried to make two videos uh, in the cloud version, and it looks like I'm, I'm going to be waiting forever. Here's my dashboard. I don't know, I guess one's in the queue. It's like I probably did this like six hours ago. And it was just a short video, like maybe uh, four or five pictures and a couple of video clips. I only did two videos trying to generate two videos. Um, I never was successful at getting uh, any of them to work. And here's a few other ones I did. And when you click the download links, I get this. Uh-oh, error. Request file was not found. So I get that, no matter what I click. So, and then if you go to the training section, look at this. Error, not found. So it looks like they just, it's like a band-aid solution. They were trying to, they knew something was wrong with the 1.0 version of the desktop. So they made a quick fix to the cloud version and they never made it work properly. In my opinion, unless I, if someone else has a better experience, let me know, I, I, this is my experience again. So I got a broken cloud version, a broken desktop version, and now version 2.0 come out and is released. And um, obviously they like all the members to cough up more money to get the 2.0 version, which <laughs> doesn't have an awful lot extra. It has a few other things like uh, uh, intro or, or uh, lower thirds, I think, think, a few things that maybe aren't in the 1.0. Very minor changes, they say it's faster. This was dreadfully slow anyway. I, I, the only thing I ever got working with the version 1.0 was the desktop version, which I showed you here, and I can't open it now. So obviously some, something's changed, maybe Facebook made a change. And, but the other thing is too, if you, this, in order to even open up the screen, you needed a Facebook uh, API connection, which I thought was strange that it's kind of married to Facebook, so Facebook changes the policy or who knows, the software's kaputs. So that is why I'm not recommending version 2.0. I can't, I haven't tried 2.0. I can't say it doesn't work good or doesn't, uh, or, you know, but like what's to say that um, a month down the road, you don't have the same experience as me. You uh, get the software, works really well, it doesn't, and then, and then they downgrade you to 10 videos, like that I've been downgraded, as I mentioned. Um, so this is my reason, and uh, you know, so you have the choice. But I do have another recommendation, if you know, and, and, I, and I do like this software. This software here is called Video Spin. I'll have a link under this video, you can check it out. It's uh, by Aries Anthony, um, who's also done a lot of great training. I really like his, some of his training, uh, free stuff is really good. His training was, I got a lot of amazing information. This is a software he came out with just a few weeks ago called Video Spin. Um, this was uh, a demo version I got because I was promoting the software, and it, uh, it's really nice because the thing is, okay, I'll give you a little bit of what it does and what it doesn't do. Um, you, you just basically have to build a folder with all your photos in it and videos in it. And then generally you want to set the photo resolution size to, like if you're doing YouTube videos, you want to make uh, most of the pictures you can make 1280 by 720. Uh, or that, you know, it's a, it's a 2.4 to 1 scale size of uh, aspect ratio. And that would give you a nice, you know, format for you. But you can also do a square video or a square, you know, like, so you can make videos with this. You can use a bunch of pictures to make the video. You can mix pictures with videos to make a video. And it'll basically crank out, you know, it's trying to do what uh, the creator effects does. Except this one works really well. Very fast. It's desktop based. So it processes very, very quickly. Um, I just, um, I did a video, okay, uh, with, um, from, uh, some slides I got from uh, Mexico when I was there. I took some pictures. So I formatted all the pictures to uh, 1280 by 720. And, um, 
I put it in a folder, and then um, I just, you know, just said, okay, I have 72 pictures in there. Um, I want to set this so that there's a duration of a minimum of two seconds between each picture and a maximum of three. You can change this, so it randomizes things. And then a transition time of, of uh, this is uh, 1,500 milliseconds, which is 1.5 seconds. And I can set the quality. You can zero in different, you know, qualities for the picture if you want. I put it at the highest, and I just chose to make one video. You can make a hundred here too. And this one does work. I, I tested the software. Didn't find any bugs with it. it just worked. It doesn't have an API connection with Facebook. It's just totally independent. You're on the desktop. Um, you can add a watermark if you're building these for customers, and you, you know, you, you want to collect on some payment before they run away with your free product that you made. If you want to, you know, put a water, you can put a watermark on if you want. And here is the transitions from one slide to the other. You can add all. I just added all these effects. They're just effects, right? So I added those in, and then you can give names to the file. So if I had many different, uh, like in this case, I, in my example, I have one video. You could say video uh, one, you could say um, video two, or you can give any a name that means something to you. You know, name is two different cities or something, if they're photos from different cities or videos, whatever you want. So uh, that's what I did there. And then uh, you can select, you have to select the folder that you're pulling out those photos or videos from. Uh, and remember, it can be either videos or photos or a mix, so it just sort of randomly picks them. And then, I think it picks it in order, actually, from the file. So you, you might have to rearrange the file names wherever order you want them. Yeah. Um, and then uh, and then the destination folder, where, where once this software is finished, it'll just save your completed project. And here's a the music I have I have on my desktop. A little, uh, I built a folder with a, uh, a several MP3s in it. And it'll just pull them off there, too. And you can, this can be pulled off randomly or continuously. Um, the volume level, I guess you can set up the audio too. Now, the one thing, there's only one thing I didn't like with this. It does a, it does a good job at the beginning with the music, but at the end, uh, depending on the timing of your music tracks, so you have to time it with the, these times, uh, each slide and the transition effect here. Uh, the, the audio might end abruptly, okay? So, but if, you, if you're careful with playing with the time, you know how long your audio track is, you can probably sort that out too, so it just, you know, uh, fades in. But uh, it's not a big deal because you can edit these, you can even turn off the audio and then add your own track and later using other software like Windows Media Player. I think you, that's a free one. And I think you, you'd have a little more control to fade in and fade out the audio and stuff like that. Or there's a lot of third-party software that can do that. I think just some of them are free too. Um, so that was the only thing that, that I thought would be neat if they had, when the audio came near the end, it just sort of fades it off in the last three seconds because it end abruptly. Uh, but again, it was not a big deal for me. It might be for you depending on you know what your application is. Or if you have another software, you could, you could um, you like your other software to do that. Um, okay, so what else is there? Basically, again, you can have an intro video or an intro image and an outro, you know, outro image. You can turn these on or off. So it's, it's totally up to you. And then again, you can turn on, on and off audio if you have the, the outro video or the intro. So you have that option. Um, so, okay, so let me just try to do, just to show you how fast it is. Let's do a, um, okay, let's take 10 slides. Or well, let's go, because I'm just doing a live, let's go five slides, okay? And we'll make um, two videos, okay? And each one has five slides, and they're going to be uh, two seconds minimum and three seconds maximum duration. And we will go with the highest quality, okay? And so let's give it a couple of names. Uh, we'll say video one, video two. Okay, video dash, uh, or we'll just go with this video one, and I guess another name is there. Video dash two. Okay, we'll go with that. Like so now we get two videos we're going to make, two unique file names we're found and set. Click OK. And we are going to spin it. So this is what I want you to pay attention to. Look how fast this is. So I'm making two videos. Each one has five images. Click. And just wait. And you're going to see that uh, percentage button come in. These are high resolution. So give this a second there. See, it's already 10%. Now remember, I'm still waiting. Uh, I've been waiting six hours for um, video curator effects uh, 1.0 on the cloud to work. I don't think it's ever going to work. None of them have worked for me so far. Um, I'd be happy to hear anyone else's experience with it. But uh, to me, it was one of the things I was the most unhappy with from the purchase I've made in a while. And there's been other softwares that I don't like, too, that have just been either very poorly documented and they just sort of leave you on your own. And it's not a really great way to run the business, I think. But <clears throat> here we go. Okay, so already, already we're 50% uh, done. You have to forgive the uh, flicker on my screen. It's a um, Asus computer that has a um, problem with that. I'm, half, I'm running my batteries right now because if I plug this in, it's noisy for recording audio. Now, if I have an Ethernet cable in, it's even noisy when I record the audio. So that's why I'm on batteries. But uh, yeah, it's about, the computer's got a problem too. <laughs> it's another issue. Okay, so already 78% done. And I am almost going to be able to show you the results. And let's see. No, I'll just play one of the videos just to get an idea what it's doing. And near the end, how the audio kind of just ends a little bit. Okay. I all, and there's a link. I have a link under my video here for video spin in case you want to uh, click this one up. I, I do recommend this much more, even though 
you know, there might be less bells and whistles with it, but it works, and it works very well. And that's, that's to me, that I'd rather have less bells and whistles and something works, right? Okay, so here we go. Let's finish. That's it. We've already done two videos. You will, that will not happen with the other software. Uh, okay, show the desktop. Here we go. Video. And do this. We just created these. So, uh, let's look for these properly. And which one is it now? Um, oh, yeah, video one, video two. My eyes are going on a little bit here, so it's hard to see these. Okay, so I want to zoom this in on full screen too, so you get a better effect. I'm sorry about the flicker on my screen, it's my computer. That's it, that was number one. It was a short, it's very short. Here's the other one we made. You see how the audio kind of ended fast? That's, that's what I was talking about. Nothing really major, but it just, you know, just want to tell you what's happening there. Okay, so that was it. Um, now you get an idea what that does. And so, um, go ahead, check out the link uh, that I have for the other software, Video Spin, if you're interested in it. But I do not recommend Video Creator 2.0 based on my experience. Again, you may have a better experience. I don't, you know, but it's your gamble, it's your, your take, you know. Um, I just think that the customers for Video 1.0 should have taken care of before going to something new. I mean, it, to me, it's like a broken software, the, the, the 1.0. I never, I never got any use of it. Uh, it was unfortunate because I love the concept. I think it was a neat, a neat concept, but just, you know, there's some quality behind it. So that's my review. And um, so, you know, go check things out and see what works best for you. And thanks for watching. Sorry, it was a little bit long this video.